mid 70s we had just thousands and thousands of foreign students coming into the uh, United States and into Denver and Barb was teaching at Denver University's English program and uh, we noticed that there were just students that were being turned away by the existing universities. So we got this idea, well, gee, maybe we could start a school. So we started an institution that was for teachers, by teachers, and that was dedicated to having the students experience breakthroughs in their lives as they moved from uh, wherever they were coming from into their new life. The idea of springing ahead, springing forward. So it was the idea starting of over. transition, starting over. Initially, the program was for international students who were here for a period of time and going back home. Things have changed over the years. Um, most of the folks that we've been working with are people who are going to stay in the United States. Um, but the focus is the same. How do you become empowered to be all you can be by learning more about other cultures, by being able to express yourself completely and effectively. Those are all things that were elements in uh, starting this program. And let me just add that as far as I know, Spring was the only school in the United States that had programs for adult foreign students and also programs for refugees. And of course, Spring, the idea of springing forward, was very germane to refugees who lost everything and who are starting completely over. We flee as a family from Iraq. You know, and then we went to Jordan because it's the place where it saved the refugees for temporary time. We spent nine years there, struggling with everything. And then we came here, but we don't have like friends or family members here. So it's the Blink Institute and the agency, it's like the first like circle to start, you know, to know people, to even to get chances to know what's, what is the culture of the society here, what things it's allowed, what things you have to avoid. The Spring Institute changed my life because my English right now is better but I need more practice and the, the technique and teacher is so good, really good. Now I can see, I can see the movies, I can see uh, the TV show, learn paper news and the more important, I can talk with ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so my involvement with Spring Institute started when Bob Sample called me in April of 1980 and he asked if I would take a four-month job and the idea of being able to help refugees resettle I thought it was something I could do for four months. Well, Spring has evolved amazingly since um, I started in May of 1980. At that time, we were a school pretty exclusively for international students. We then started working more and more with people from the other end of the socioeconomic ladder. And so that has been one of the evolutions, is who we serve. We serve people from a very broad spectrum. We now are known internationally. So we are now serving people from countries that didn't exist when Spring Institute started, with needs and aspirations and inspiration for us that we couldn't have imagined when we started. For refugees, they're, they're moving into a hope for the future. We, we would be able to work with them at that period of time, a change in their lives, and help them to see that they can make this, they can do it. They're going to be successful in this new society. And uh, it was always inspiring going to graduations of these programs and watch the progress people had made in even a short period of time.
I came to USA in 2009, July 23rd. And then I was a work study. I go to work study and I meet Susan and I enjoyed it because uh, I didn't know in the American system and then they teach me job interview and culture orientation and a lot of the things. So without the Civic Institute, maybe I don't get the job I have right now. You know, it's impact my life because, you know, I'm supporting my family. And at the same time, it's, you know, the place to give me the opportunity to have work experience in the United States. The people that we have had the privilege to serve here are passionate about family, about community, and about giving back. And by our being able to serve them and empower them to succeed, no matter what their culture, no matter what their language, our impact is through the people that we've served and the impact they're going to have. The, the more important memory and Spring Institute not only uh, learn English, the very important is you make friends here. This is, I think, Spring Institute is very important for a lot of uh, refugee people. When I ask my friends in different states or even different countries and they are refugee and they hear about what kind of programs we have here, what kind of assistance we get from here, you know, they, they wish they, if they have the same place, if they have the same staff, if they have, you know, some place keep them connect with their agency in a certain way. So, yeah, so I hope this place will stay and grow up more and more. For the future, I, I see Spring reasserting its position as the innovator, the leader, the trainer, the go-to institution for uh, methodology, for training, for improvements. It is about strengthening communication skills so that there is, in fact, an opportunity for people to talk with each other instead of fight each other. I think one of the unique features about Spring is our can-do attitude. And if we are faced with a challenge that has to do with culture, uh, people of poverty but incredible promise, we will figure out a way to empower them.